Welcome back to my channel, Motosokos. Hey, it's your girl. I wait. Oh, put that back down. <clears throat> It's your girl Eloho, all the way back on your screen, looking like a chocolate glazed donut, it's unicorn, melanated, impress. Yeah. This is the latest side of YouTube. I freestyle. That was a freestyle right there. I feel like I am queen of unpopular opinion. I have I have two unpopular opinion videos on my channel, and I will link it and pin it in the comment section so you guys can check it out. But this one is a little bit different. I asked you guys to share with me your unpopular opinions, and that y'all gave me. Okay, you completed the task. Some of these opinions actually aren't unpopular, but that's okay. Thank you, thank you for participating. You got a good grade for class participation. And we appreciate that over here, okay? Yes, I will be giving my opinion on you guys' opinions. Lego. Warning, opinions are like buttholes. Don't get offended, you know, just take it with a grain, take everything with a grain of salt. Don't get offended. It's we, we, we just here to talk. We gonna talk, okay? No, you girls always come in with the looks, the tea, and the facts. So let's get it popping. Cardi B should not be able to say the N-word. She is the same girl who will let you know quick, fast, in a hurry. She is not black. And it's got 203 likes. So a lot of y'all agree with that statement. Actually, I got a lot of Cardi B unpopular opinions. I'm not, this is not a drag Cardi B video. I'm not gonna read everything you guys said about Cardi B. But a lot of y'all were basically like, listen, Cardi B is not black. Cardi B should not say the N-word. I also did a video on that. So y'all know how I feel about that. I don't think that anyone non-black should say the N-word. I also feel like as black people, as the leaders and the trendsetters, we should not be saying the N-word as well. I indulge every now and again and I'm working on myself and I, you know, I try to catch myself instead of saying nigga, I'll be like bro or sis or, you know, I catch myself and I try to be the example. Someone said milk first, then cereal. You playing with me stop someone said college is a waste of money and time um i disagree with y'all i feel like a lot of people think like oh college is just so much money there are free colleges there are free learning institutions you don't have to go to the biggest and grandest of colleges and if you are very intelligent and you play your cards right and you do your research you can find a lot of scholarships and a lot of grants and you can get an education for free i would rather someone go to college than to just stay at the same level job just because they don't want to go to school because they feel like it's a waste of time i think college is a great experience and i really wish a lot more black people would go to college someone said chemicals and food is for population control more disease equals more death absolutely and you know who really has a hard time with eating healthy and eating right and you know dying from diabetes and massive heart attacks saggy boobs are lit and underrated Stop! if y'all don't know the slump flower y'all need to like follow her on instagram she started like the saggy boobs movement she's dumb lit she's mad cute she's living her best life right now like shout out to slump flowers i see you girl if you're attracted to another race it doesn't give you the freedom to dog your own community <clears throat> black men <clears throat> I was stuck in my throat, girl. Y'all was coming for the celebrities in these comment sections. Someone said Ariana Grande is not that good. You can hardly understand what she's saying, and she's very nasally. That means she sings Moderno. Personally, I think Ariana Grande does have a beautiful voice. Like, I'm not gonna take that away from her, but she is a little nasally. And you know, the nasal, it works for her. She makes the nasal work. That Beyonce is queen, but she's getting a little boring. Y'all was coming for Beyonce in these comment section, and I wasn't I wasn't appreciating it. I'm not a Beehive member. I love this lady and you know I support this lady and that's it. <laughs> I don't know if that makes me Beehive or not. I just feel like Beehive is like ready to attack. They they know every lyric, they they know what year, this, that. Like they just they're ready to attack. So I don't consider myself Beehive. But you guys also have to remember Beyonce is getting older. She's not immortal, she's human. You know, she has so many accomplishments and so many success in life. She's getting older. She is still touring. So she's doing her thing touring. She's not getting boring, honey. She's touring, okay? She's a mom. She's a wife. And she's getting older, guys. Like, you can't expect her to be on a gram in your face all day, every day. Like, sis is booked and busy, okay? And she's mommy. Love and hip-hop is trash now. Facts. I mean, I stopped watching when Cardi B was on, so. Larger YouTube channels kind of suck now. Dang. I'm not a larger YouTube channel, obviously. <laughs> but I do have I do have some YouTube faves who are larger and I feel like it just it depends on 
it depends on the, the the I think it depends on the YouTuber. Like you shouldn't let getting large change your content. It shouldn't change your realness or whatever you were originally doing. You shouldn't change that just because now you have 10 million subscribers. You know what I mean? So Michael Jackson is innocent. I mean, he, he was proven innocent in a court of law. I don't understand why a dead man is on trial again. When we got all these mofos that's alive that... Let me get back to the... Let me get back to this. Half black is not black. How are you going to ignore your whole side slash parent? A lot of y'all in the comment section was... Either, I don't know if y'all was like coming against each other in the comment section because I noticed like one person on this side and then other people on this side. Other people on this side and other people like... I don't know how to explain it, but you know what I'm trying to say? I feel like y'all was like coming for each other in the comment section. But a lot of you guys spoke about like, oh, half black is not black. Half black is black. I'm going to do a video on phenotype versus genotype. And if you have seen some of my other videos, I just feel like, you know, I get it. Um, But I do just feel like you can't discredit someone. <sighs> it's hard to explain, but it's like, okay, so it's like, Okay, so what if I was, what if someone was half something, but they don't look like their other half, right? So say if you were half white, but you don't look white at all. When they first look at you, they're going to judge you based on how you look. I'm just saying, you know, it's, it's, they, you know, they have a valid point. Interracial dating is genocide for blacks. Damn. I personally believe in preserving the race. I believe in black and black, black on black love. I believe in preserving the race, preserving the knowledge. Um, when I say it's genocide, no, because, you know, these people who are in interracial relationships, they love one another. You know, they say they love one another. I don't want to be on the outside looking in like, no, y'all don't love each other. Y'all just fetish. Like, I'm not, that's not my place to do that. However, I choose to continue the black race. So I will be procreate. I will be marrying a black man. I will be procreating with a black man and I want to have a black family. And, you know, I will encourage my children to do the same. Some people. Empire is trash. Y'all, unpopular opinion. This is not even an opinion. This is a fact. Unpopular fact. I've never seen one episode of Empire. I have no clue what it's about. I love Taraji, but I've, I've never seen it. Someone said Jesse Smollett is innocent. I have to keep these glasses on because y'all playing with me. Gold and diamonds are worthless. We give everything worth, right? It is what we say it is. Golden Orioles are better than the original. Damn, I never thought of that. That's a fact. Frontals and closure should be abolished. You, you sir, you should be abolished, okay? Diseases in Africa are planted by the C.I. Mother F and A. I can see that. I can see that. I wouldn't put it past. If not the CIA, another organizational institution. Mm -hmm. If you hit a man, be prepared to get knocked out. Jesu. At the end of the day, a lot of men are naturally stronger than women. So I, you know, <sighs> all right, the Brooklyn is coming out of me. You know, sometimes you might get into a little argument with your bae, you know, like a little tussle. You might want to, uh, cause nigga, you really playing with me. You really playing with me. That don't mean he got the right to boot, knock you out. Like, come on now. You know, you're stronger than her. Ladies, don't be soccer punching people when thinking you ain't going to get soccer punched back. But I don't see nothing wrong with a little, you know, full head a little. I don't see nothing wrong with pushing a nigga. I, I just don't listen to me now. <laughs> listen to me, don't listen to me, don't listen to me. <laughs> Black Panther wasn't all that. Have seats. Have a seat. Ha Stop. Stop. Natural hair companies are finessing you. What you mean? Same our voice. You only need five products to take care of your hair. Okay, wait, let me see. Shampoo, deep conditioner, oil, heat protectant, gel. I want to say like a butter. You really might only need five. So the LOC, LOC method, deep conditioner, shampoo, treatments, but like treatments, like daily treatments. I would say six. I would say six. But five is, you're right though. You don't need a billion products to take care of your natural hair. I don't think that being a gold digger is a bad thing. Ooh. We could do a whole separate video on that too. I actually have that on my list. I have a whole list of videos, guys. I'm very organized on my channel. Um, but I have a whole list of videos that I want to do. And girl, 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 the boy's going to be mad at me with this one, okay? I agree. I said what I said.
There is no such thing as Jesus. White people created him to control slaves. No, that's not true. That's not true. There actually was a man named Jesus. Okay, yeah, the Savior Lord. He was black though. That's that's what it was. He was black. I think what a lot of white people did was they took our history and made themselves the savior. So instead of making Jesus black as he was, they made Jesus a white man. Okay, men are not women. I don't really, un, uh, huh? Maybe they were talking about like trans, but they said men are not women. So I don't know what you mean by that. What you talking about, Willis? EOC solidarity is a joke. <laughs> and it ain't a funny joke. The one drop rule hurts black people. It can, it can hurt us a lot because, you know, when we when we begin to say, okay, you have a drop of black in you, you're black. We then get mad when these one drop black people, all these people that we gave them the right to say, oh yeah, you are black, you are black. These people, once they start surpassing us and getting oppor the opportunities that we can't get because we are really black and they're like a drop of black. It's like, oh, well you can't get mad because you said they was black, right? Black women should smile when they see one another. That's a fact. I do that and I feel like other black girls that I do that to, they do that too. <laughs> Heterophobia should be a thing since we get shamed for being heterosexual. I mean, to be honest though, it could be a thing because everything is a thing. Okay, someone said colorism isn't a thing. I thought we was past this. Mona Scott and her franchise must be destroyed. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. A lot of franchises need to be destroyed. If we destroy Mono, she ain't the only one. She ain't the only one. Someone says Solange is a better singer than Beyonce. Why are y'all playing in my comment section like this? Listen, we have to stop with this competitive, I gotta be better or this one gotta be better or who's better out of the two. They're both amazing. They're both great. They're both in their own two different lanes. They just happen to both be noses, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. Someone said Miley Cyrus is the real culture vulture, not the Kardashians. I'm gonna go ahead and say they both are. We as a community are too forgiving and inviting with outside communities. That's a fact. We are definitely very forgiving. I, I think it's really in our nature. Like we're just happy people naturally. So we naturally just wanna bring people in, teach people about our culture, teach them this, teach them that, help them with this, help them with that. I think that's just naturally how we are. And even throughout history, like the melanated indigenous people were always like conquered by the whites because it was like, oh, you know, these people are here. Let's take them in. Let's be nice to them. Let's show them this. Let's show them that. Let's trade with them. And then we end up getting massacred. So it's like, um, yeah the big zinc is not always the business oh honey honey <laughs> that's a fact okay uh someone said those impoverished african commercials are funded by europeans who have stolen billions of dollars worth of natural resources oh honey that's absolutely a fact. So those like save a child commercial, you know, save sponsor a child in Africa commercial. It also kind of just perpetuates this, oh, Africa is just this poor disease ridden continent. You know, they need us to save them. And I don't ever, I don't ever remember ever seeing any commercials to help the homeless children in America and the poor people in America, the diseased people in America is just like, Africa needs help save africa africa needs help and africa does need help and yes we all especially as black people should be going back to visit the continent should be pulling together and buying land in the continent because the continent is being is being raped by other cultures and i just wish that more black people specifically more black americans would go to africa and you know let's start building businesses in africa and traveling to africa helping with the economy in africa etc but it's just something about these commercials there is no such thing as something being too grown for a child Y'all just sexualizing kids. Having hair flat ironed, long weave, crop tops, shorts are not grown. Let black girls live. All right, girl, I'm going to have to go ahead and disagree with you now. I'm going to go ahead and disagree with you now. I don't know about that. No, we got to be careful about that. There, there absolutely is a such thing as being too grown, okay? I don't care what color you are. If you're too grown, I'll be like, that little girl too grown. The saying a child should stay in a child's place, it's the same for a reason. When you're a child, it's just certain things you should not have to worry about. If you are a child, you should not have to worry about, oh, I need my front tooth to be laid. You're a child. Go outside. Go play. Go read a book. These are the moments and years that you will never get back, okay? You will never get back. Once you grow up and you got to pay bills, you got to do this, you got to handle responsibilities, 
you will never be able to enjoy your youth again i don't think it's always about sexualizing kids as much as it is about protecting kids protecting their youth and protecting their innocence black twitter is a toxic community white people envy us because black people can make white babies albinos but white people need a black person to make a half black baby damn sis or bro i never even thought of that <laughs> a lot of problems in the black community that we can fix ourselves instead of pointing at the white man 205 likes so a lot of you guys agree with that as i say in my videos you know knowing the the core of the problem knowing the root of the problem there's nothing wrong with knowing the root of the problem i know the root of the problem but i don't let the root stop me from being great i don't let the root stop me from being educated i don't let the root the root of the problem stop me from being kind i don't let the root of the problem stop me from being sharing and giving courageous and outgoing and a unicorn like i don't let the root stop me from being a happy-go-lucky ass white girl like I can be both. I can know that there's a system that's trying to oppress me and I can go against that by saying I'm not going to be oppressed. I'm not going to be sad. I'm not going to be angry, but I'm very much aware. So if that shit is right in my face, I could point it out and I could be like, chill. We're not even doing that. I know what you're about. I'm not about that. Not everyone has access to happiness. And I think we forget about that. We just say, oh, well, y'all blame for y'all blame these people for everything. But psychologically, not everyone is able to escape and I think like, I don't understand, it's just, it's, you know, it's unfortunate, but thank God for social media and technology. People like to say a lot of negative things about social media and technology, but we also have to think about the positive things, how so many channels have literally changed people's lives. Not everyone is able to have these conversations with their family or their friends or their immediate circle. So channels like this, you know, pro-black pages, black Twitter, we create the dialogue and it literally begins to change people's way of thinking. It changes people's lives. And last but not least, my unpopular opinion for this video is that you can be pro-black and not anti anything else. A lot of people don't like pro-black channels and they don't like pro-black women and pro-black people. I don't wanna see the fall of anyone else, but I'm working towards the uplifting of my people and my community. That's it. A lot of you guys have been asking me about this hair. You know, I colored it blue, but it's turning green on me. Once my fingers get a little better, I'll be able to do a little tutorial. But for right now, I still, you know, y'all know what happened to my fingers. I got this wig from Premier Lace Wigs. And guys, I highly recommend this company. If you are someone who doesn't want to pay extra money to make wigs, if you don't know how to make a wig yourself, and you're just looking for a ready bomb pre-made wig for you. I got this wig, it was already, the knots was already bleached, baby hairs was already on fleek, everything was see-through. It comes with a stocking cap to match your complexion, so I got the stocking cap. It also comes with this anti, that's my girl Meg's on there. Shout out to Meg. Like anti frizzy hair stick, so if you, if you are leaving the hair nice and sleek and you want to just get some frizz away, you know, you can just use some of this. The wig does have an adjustable strap in the back, which is lit. So if it's too big, you can make it tighter. If it's too small, you can make it looser. It comes with this band that you can actually sew on. It gives you the instructions on how to sew it if you want a non-adjustable band in the back. It's not kinky hair. It was body wave, girl. I have this flat iron. This flat iron that I have, it has two parts. It has this crimping portion right here. Like cute Beyonce little crimplets so that's why you guys see the texture type four <laughs> type four you know look so yeah girl that's the tea on my hand i also have a coupon code for you guys all the details will be in the description box so check that out give this video a giant big thumbs up let me know what you thought of this video and these unpopular opinions and subscribe to my youtube channel if you are not yet subscribed i will see you at the next one Bye.